Okay, now we're going to move along and obviously demonstrate the Angel Eye covert camera that comes with the kit. Let's take all the components out of the box and show you all the parts. We've obviously put in there a couple more cable ties. You'll find a bit of Velcro for the actual lens of the camera in the kit. It will come with the camera as we showed you earlier. Okay, put that one side. That's the actual USB that fits into the side of the monitor. The actual monitor itself. And that's obviously a pair of headphones if you wanted to listen because it actually records sound at the same time if you wanted to do that. Also comes with uh, a small lead here for you to play back the images if you wanted to record them onto a large screen for training purposes. As, as it is a covert camera, it also comes with a remote so you can actually from a distance uh, set it to record from a remote and then turn it off from a remote, but we don't need that part of it. But if you wanted to utilize the camera and for other means, by all means, help yourself. We've also put in there an extension lead, or in this situation we put two five foot leads, but you can earn uh, other kits that'll have a full 10 foot extension lead. Let's put that to one side. Uh, we've made a nice little uh, monitor holder here for you, how to use that. As you undo the wig nuts, put it to one side. Then we place our monitor in between. Squeeze them together and tighten up. So what that's for is when you're actually using the camera itself the mo and the monitor, that's designed to go through the letterbox, hold the camera in the letterbox position. Most of you already have a, um, a wedge, a sponge wedge, a triangular wedge, that would actually hold that in the letterbox with uh, holding the letterbox up at the same time. Oh, look at that, it'll actually come on for me. Okay, when as soon as you push the button, three seconds on the top, it will, it will turn on and it will still vibrate until you actually insert the actual camera on the top. There's no, men there's no menu to navigate. As soon as you plug the actual uh, camera eye into the actual monitor, you have the picture. Now, this camera is such a unique camera. It's on the top here. You can adjust the view. If it's blurred, that's your lens. You turn the lens and it adjusts to whether it's clarity or obviously blurred. When we are suggesting you use this camera in its holder, we say don't tug on the actual cable itself. Hold it and you twist and push it in there and then that will hold it firm. But within the camera holder, you can actually move the camera forward and back. If you want the lens further this way, you insert the camera from the back end, which gives you a lot more larger field of view. And then grab the camera itself, twist, and then remove the camera gently. Now, if you wanted to obviously take the images off of the camera and not use it as a monitor, you would obviously do so. Let's switch the uh, camera off, remove the actual monitor. You'd actually do so via the USB lead. The USB lead would go in the side, and then you can plug that into your computer and then transfer the files from the actual uh, monitor into your computer. You can also uh, charge uh, your um, unit. There's a mobile phone battery unit in there for a normal mobile phone. You can buy spares online. And you charge your actual uh, unit battery via one of these lovely friendly three pin sockets and then that will charge your actual uh, monitor up. Just like that. The kit does come with um, a battery little charger but we've heard online that these are not very efficient so we recommend that you probably use one of your uh, iPhone chargers or one of that same nature that you can obviously buy. But the good thing about the universal charges, you can get um, 
your car in car chargers with a unit with a USB charger and that means you can charge it via the actual uh, 12 volt charger from the car in socket or if you have an inverter on the van use the three pin standard charger if you're going to use your fish rod or if you need that like I said earlier uh, your camera to go over a longer distance we've got an extended cable that will go in the side and then you just attach your camera from the other end now that will go up to 12 foot and give you view over the 12 foot now if you want to use um, your 3D goggles uh, to actually look and view from inside rather than the monitor you still plug into the monitor but it does have um, an AV out so with your camera attached you can plug your uh, AV out into your 3D glasses and then use it via your 3D glasses rather than the monitor screen itself. There you go.